out in the mobile weather lab along I-55 near Cicero. Charlie. Rob and Erica, good evening. Yeah, we are passing Cicero right now on I-55 North. The afternoon commute this, this afternoon was even more of a headache because that snow was coming down pretty heavy during that time. If we take a look at the roads right now, it is very hard to see pavement. Of course, IDOT has been out here with their plows, but it is a thick layer of snow that is on these roads. You can't really see your lane. And we just saw within the last five minutes as we've been driving, we saw a car spin out right in front of us. So just another reminder just to take it easy out on the roads. The Chicago was born and raised. You gotta love the snow. The snow made Monday's commute come to a crawl. I could do without the snow. <laughs> this veteran plow driver might not like the snow, but it's keeping business busy. It's something that I'm used to doing, you know, I do it year in, year out. Shovels were moving fast to stay ahead of the falling snow. Ugly, ugly. Saw a couple accidents, cars to the side, but hopefully it slows down. It'd and be better. The consistent downfall made for dangerous road conditions. This lake in the hill stoplight taken down by a driver who lost control. Dude, this guy literally just lost control. Oh my God. Southwest sent us a note that our flight was canceled. At Midway, passengers saw delays and over 40 flights canceled. But for these Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles fans coming back from the game, there's no snowing on their parade. It's all good, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> and traffic has lightened up a little bit, but the cars that are out here are still going very slow because it is so, uh, the conditions are so uh, slippery out here. Again, if you can stay off these roads, please do so. Of course, work gets in the way of that. So tomorrow, for those of you who do have to be out, out on the roads, just take it easy, take your time. Uh, and that is the latest now from the Mobile Weather Lab. Reporting live, Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.